Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And you join me behind the wheel of the Scania R560 with its V8 engine. This truck is now six years of age. I've clocked up 622,000 kilometers in this truck, which is over 388,000 miles. But today is a really special day because not only do I say goodbye to this truck, but I say hello to a brand new Scania S580. I'm really looking forward to picking up this truck, which is what we're doing today. This truck will be passed over to another driver to take over. And this truck will also be serviced. Then it has to go out to Jamie King's for a bit of spray work. And then I will give it an even better clean out and then hand it over to the next driver. So this morning I was clearing out a whole load of stuff out of the truck. <laughs> And uh, yeah, all that stuff has to be put into the new truck tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I'll just do a quick walk around of the R560 just before we say goodbye to it. And then we will be hopping into the new truck and taking it home. So before we just pull into Nolan's here, I just want to show you some footage I shot during the week and a bit more footage that I had um, just of maintenance around the warehouse. So check out this footage guys and join us back at T. Nolan and Sons Scania. premium. Johnny loves this truck. Loves it. I got a new baby this one. Yeah, and you drove this for three years. Three years, 2011 to 2013. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, Johnny's been down just spraying all the chassis, or painting it, making it look a bit presentable. Uh, this was my contribution. <laughs> this little patch back here and the tank. So yeah, it's been uh, just tidied up just to make it look um, a bit more respectable on the premium Ireland's favorite truck and then back over to the R series so yeah this has been replaced you see there the front bumper so yeah Johnny took that off that got damaged you see it there look it was all cracked so uh, yeah that's been taken off now we just need to put a blue stripe here and touch up this R. You see the way the R is missing? So maybe just we'll spray here or see what we can do. <laughs> Feel free to slaughter us in the comments if we get this wrong. Well, I just think it just doesn't look good with the R missing. So yeah, let's get this done and see how it turns out. Okay, so I got a template from the other R series in the fleet. And yeah, we're gonna stick this onto this spray around it, cut out the, the little hole there and uh, <laughs> see if this works. Woo! Sweet! Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes guys, I think that's an R. So we just need to spray it up, see how it looks. Okay, so this is my masking fancy work here. If it all goes pear-shaped, blame Johnny. <laughs> Okay, while the paint is drying, we will stick on the blue stripe. And the blue stripe is on. Okay, we're gonna get the heater gun and just heat up the paint. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about the R now. The R is the most worrying part about this guys. Be more, come on. Ooh. 
Careful. Oh. Ooh, yeah, legs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a little bit more. Got an R. What do you think, guys? <laughs> do we have an R? I think we do. I think we've done a an good R. job, Johnny. So this is what happens, guys, when you have cheap wheels on the rail. Look. <coughs> Can't move it. Look. It's jammed. Look. Cheap rubbish. Rubbish wheels. They put on the rail. Look. That one's fine. This one. Jammed! Ah, oh, lads. Never ends with these curtains. This diesel cab was only 25 euro, so it's not a Scania one. Johnny can have that and stick it on the tank. Uh, let's hope it fits, that is. So, yeah, it normally out. it would say Scania on the top of it, but uh, what does it say? I know diesel. Just diesel. That's <laughs> okay. good enough. Okay, now yeah, usually gone. you hear a click and then you just now lock it's gone it. all the way in. So. Oh yeah, that was. That Is that was. it? Yeah, that's it's working. Enough. Yeah. There you go, guys. Twenty-five yeah. euro for a non-branded scania diesel. cap. <laughs> diesel. Diesel, <cap. laughs> but not that diesel. <laughs> not not the diesel in the shop. No. Uh, good this man, one. Johnny. You're doing a great cleaning job um, in this scania. This is the one with nearly 1.4 million kilometers, and uh, yeah, Johnny is uh, giving it a good cleaning job. Okay guys, we've got a bit of maintenance on the 2003 164L 480. We're just, uh, it's the pump. The steering's all gone heavy, so the steering pump may need changing. Yeah, yeah so it's, that's okay. That whole steering rack, isn't it? It's just the pump, you just need yeah. to. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna put back in that bolt and jack the cab, Dermot, is it? No. We'll jack up the truck. Yeah. And we checked in what pressure is on when the wheels are off the ground when there's no pressure on the wheels. And that will give us an idea of where we're going. Oh I get you, I get you, I get you. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna jack up the front axle and try and get it fixed. Okay guys, let me just start up the truck and just give you an idea of how stiff the steering is, okay? Oh <laughs> you won't believe just how stiff it is, okay? Watch that, look. So you're just doing this just to find out that the kingpins are okay, is it? Yeah. Okay guys, we have determined that it's nothing to do with the steering mechanism, that it would be the pump. Because look, given that we have it jacked up, everything seems okay. Look, one finger. <laughs> Yes, okay. So there's a rear leak here on the back diff and so the filter needs to be changed and the gasket around the housing, Dermot, yeah? Yeah. The whole gasket there needs to be changed and that will hopefully stop the leak. It never ends, Dermot, all the maintenance. <laughs> Scan yes. Okay, this is the steering bar. So if you can imagine your steering wheel up here and you're turning it, and that goes down to the steering pump. And Dermot has uh, found out that we don't actually need this part. So it's most likely the pump. But when you're driving up and down, you see the way it bounces up and down, just to allow for the suspension. So I'm just inside in the warehouse here, and I just want to show you guys all of the stuff that came out of the Scania R560 when I was clearing it out. Would you believe it's all on five pallets here? So you'd be surprised how much stuff you accumulate in six years of driving a truck. But anyway, let's go down through it and uh, show you what I have to put into the new truck. Some of it anyway. Fire extinguishers, uh, the brush, the shovel, cleaning stuff, cloths, they're all here. We got a winder here for the trailer, uh, toolbox, all of my straps, uh, chemical plate, another winder just in case I lose the other one. We've got bonding cords, more chemical stickers, first aid kit, warning triangle. I've got a spare Scania mat here. I probably have that from new. More bonding cords, shrink wrap, spare Susie's, flashing light, um, 
cleaning stuff for the windscreen <laughs> and coolant. More cleaning stuff. Uh, let's swing over here. Uh, we've got some bed linen. I've got a tray there. I've got my jet boil, all my water. All of the pens, diaries, masks. Uh, what have I got over here? Another fire extinguisher. More cleaning stuff. Another spare Susie and waterproof pair of pants. Um, and more bed linen. And another bag here for the hazardous chemical stuff. And what's in here? Oh yeah, more gloves. Spare bulbs, uh, Tupperware, sellotape, <laughs> shaving cream. More gloves. I think you get the idea, guys. <laughs> uh, and my folder there, <laughs> my cap. Yeah, a lot of stuff you accumulate in six years of driving. Anyway, some of this stuff will find its way into the new truck. The rest of it is just going to be junk. <laughs> Let me just show you around the 2014 Mercedes Actros. This driver had an encounter with an army truck. The army truck smashed his driver's side mirror and nearly put this driver in on top of the curb on the near side, um, the army truck came over the other side of the road and forced our driver in left and uh, yeah, mounting a curb and also smashing this mirror. So the army truck came in, hit this mirror arm, it came right in and hit the window and then ended up smashing the mirror. So yeah, that was all caused by an army truck going to Dublin airport collecting PPE equipment. So yeah, the driver was telling me there was a big rigmarole made out of this. It cost them two hours and the army officer had to come down and take all these statements. Um, it's just a mirror, like, can you just pay for the mirror and have it all sorted? But uh, yeah, a big rigmarole made out of this. Now I know what you're going to say, if the actress had mirror cam, uh, he wouldn't have smashed it <laughs> with the height of the mirror cam. But anyway, we're using the old mirrors, so there you go. Smashed mirror, it needs to be fixed. join me back at T Nolan and Sons Scania here in Castle Island. I'm parked right beside the brand new S580. So let me just quickly show you around the R560 just before we say goodbye to this truck. So let's just have a quick tour of the R560. Uh, I did clear out all of the stuff out of the cab this morning. So it's almost completely empty of stuff. And yeah, it's time to hand it over to Nolan's and get them to service it and it will be heading to the next driver and the fridge there as well all cleaned that's just powder inside in the fridge just to stop it from smelling up and the lower bunk there as well and the night heater and the leather pack on this so yeah it uh, yeah they're just the keys for the diesel tanks and your cup holders here and the drawer so yeah, the plastic has been on the bed since new and also on the top bunk and here as well, that plastic has been on that carpet from new. So let me just start it up quickly and give you a quick sound of the engine here. And you see there we have 622,000 kilometers. Oh, we just have a, a DAF pulling out there. The DAF CF. Okay, so let me just give it a couple of revs here as well. There we go. And knock it off. Now I might look into getting a new key fob as well because this key fob doesn't work anymore. None of the buttons work on it. So I might get a new key fob for it. And oh yeah, in case you didn't know as well, these trucks did come with double glazing windows. So they are double glazed. I just put a bit of plastic there on the seats and on the mat here. But there is an exhaust brake button here as well on the floor. I've shown you that before. Uh, I hardly ever used it because all it does is over rev the engine. I always just use the retarder, five stage retarder. 
and the adjustment there for the back axle for rising and lowering your back axle and all the adjustment on the seats it's pretty much the exact same seat as on the newer trucks as well and this truck was built in France now this truck was not originally silver it was originally white and it had a charcoal grill on it whereas the new S580 is silver from the factory and also the grill is factory silver so I'm going to do a full tour of the new S580 in another video but today's video we're just focusing on the R560 and we also have the two air horns now I did have covers put on the newer truck um, I feel that you should always actually cover them in uh, these ones should have been covered um, because all you do is you get just extra wind and it will eventually loosen the air horn on top but yeah and I have the super singles as I showed you before on the newer truck so yeah just having a full walk around we also got the checkered plate put on the newer truck as well so yeah I'm down 130 liters <laughs> uh, on the newer truck so I have 1500 liters of diesel here and we just have 1370 on the newer truck there as well so yeah I'm down 130 liters of diesel uh, which is not good because that is because the batteries are positioned up here if the batteries are back here on the newer truck you could have had your 1500 liters of diesel so yeah a bit unfortunate there but that's the way the truck was specified but in any case sometimes it's better to have them here they do a lot less bouncing and they will get a lot less wet as well uh, back here you know because you've got both wheels spraying up water the whole time so yeah in some cases it's better to have them positioned here and we have all the checkered plate as well but I'll be doing a full walkthrough of this truck and we just have a quick walk around the R560 so 2700 newton meters of torque and of course we move on to the S580 and we have 3000 newton meters of torque so and we had just have the two wheel shocks there as well yeah so I'm just gonna get it into the garage now um, the new S580 and this is down for a service and then it will be going out to Jamie King's for spraying so yeah the two trucks parked side by side for the first time <laughs> so yeah that is how they look today at T Nolan and Sons and yeah they have a few more newer trucks here as well We've got the S730 there. Big power from that, of course. 3,500 newton meters of torque. So that's big power. And then an R500 and an S650 here as well for Cunningham. So yeah, oh yeah, another Cunningham S580 down here. Yeah, and this truck is for sale as well. The R450 from T Nolan and Sons. Getting very windy and we have the brand new for Limerick Metal Recycling yeah brand new Scania there as well the G500 okay so let's get it into the garage and get it serviced and there's the boss Timmy Nolan himself <laughs> so guys that's where I'm gonna wrap it up today from T Nolan and Sons Scania here in Castle Island in County Kerry I have the R560 in for a service I'll be back again at a later date to collect that and get it out to Jamie King's for spraying and yeah we're here to collect the S580 drive it home and hopefully do many many years of happy motoring in this truck but there I will leave you I will be back with a full tour and test drive of this truck guys so please do join me for that video but there I must leave you thank you all very much for watching and I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video so until then take care guys cheers And not and now going he, in at all. No, he can't get the, the key in. The key won't go in. Uh, what are we going to do, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you can steal diesel out of yeah, this. Yeah, we can't even sure. open it with the key, guys. <laughs> oh, I give up.